Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Grong raid boss in Battle of Dazar lore on Normal and Heroic difficulty. Alliance fights Grong the Revenant, who's noticeably decaying, while Horde gets Grong the Jungle Lord. The mechanics of this fight are the same between Horde and Alliance, but the names of almost every mechanic are different, so we're just gonna give both names for each thing. Some real mouthfuls coming up. Throughout the fight, Grong's going to be building up Death Energy, or Rage. Might as well just call it Juice. He'll get the juice faster, as his health drops below 70 and 40%. When he reaches 100 energy or rage, he'll do a death knell or tantrum. That's a channel that batters the whole raid with damage that ramps thanks to a stacking debuff. If he does that with 100 energy, it will wipe the raid, so the key is to force him to spill his juice early. To help with that, there will be necrotic cores or aptagonizer cores dropped in. Someone can pick that up and use their extra action button to zap him for 5% of his health and trigger the juice spilling as long as he had at least 25 energy. I'm thinking aim for over 50 and under 75. You can hold on to the core for a bit, so take your time and zap him when the raid's ready. Even with an early death knell tantrum, you'll still want to use healer cooldown, so maybe set up an order for that. For the tanks, he has a special and somewhat scary combo. He'll do three attacks in a row, which are each randomly chosen to be either a bestial smash or a rending bite. The smash is straight damage that makes future smashes hurt five times more, and the bite is a heavy bleed. Basically, what you want to do is tank swap mid-combo as soon as he's about to repeat an attack. We're trying to avoid having any one tank take two smashes or two bites. If you get unlucky enough to see three of the same moves in a row, just use some big cooldowns and pray it's not three smashes. I'm hoping the game has a heart and won't do that to you. On Heroic and Higher, he finishes the combo with a bestial throw and bestial impact. The throw grips the tank and damages them over five seconds, and then throws them at a random targeted player. It's very clear who's been marked, and that player is going to need some room. When the tank lands, bestial impact will do fall off damage to the raid, so the farther you can get from that, the better. Up in melee, Grong will do a deathly or reverberating slam, followed by an echo. The slam targets a random melee and does damage in 10 yards of them. After about 3 seconds, that area explodes in an echo that does more damage and a knockback. Don't be all stacked up in one place and get out of the echo. Throughout the fight, adds will appear on the outer edges of the room. Alliance gets Death Spectres, while Horde gets Aptagonizers. They won't attack players, but instead spam Death Empowerment or Aptagonize at the boss to give him juice. Kick that as much as you can and kill those ASAP to avoid faster death knell tantrums. The Alliance Death Spectres will also send out Voodoo Blast. On Horde, that's called Megatomic Seeker Missiles and is done by unattackable Flying Ape Wrangler ads overhead. It's the same thing though. It sends out target-seeking missiles at the ranged, which do a 10-yard AoE when they land and leave behind a damage pool. Stay a bit spread out, move out of the pools, and if at all possible, try to group them up near each other. When the adds die, they explode with Spirit Dispersion or Lightning Detonation. Don't be in that unless you have to be, and don't let them pop within 15 yards of the boss or else they'll juice him up. On Heroic and Higher, there's one more mechanic that makes everything we just looked at twice as fun. Grong will do Ferocious Roars, which fear anybody who is not standing within 5 yards of another player. That'll happen while you're dropping off missiles, avoiding echoes, getting the tank thrown at you, all that good stuff. Keep an eye on the timer so you know when it's coming, and have a buddy. Stick to your buddy. Be nice to your buddy. Don't leave your buddy. And that's Grong in the Battle of Dazar lore! Thanks for watching! If this video helped you out, please consider leaving me a like, check out my channel for more raid guides and other WoW stuff, and have a wonderful, wonderful day! Bye!